Hey everyone and welcome. Today I am going to take you on a tour of Nashville, Tennessee. This city is on the rise. I found construction sites on just about every corner, buildings, apartments, but it's not just about having a good time. And yeah, it is definitely a party city, but legends walk these streets, played in these theaters, the Opry, the Ryman. Visit to the city and you will see new, not so new, Pat Benatar, she was fantastic. Country Music Hall of Fame, can't miss it. And up and coming talent. These two kids were amazing. And they just happened to walk up on stage while I was there. But don't forget also Nashville offers a great food scene. I will take you with me as I explore some unique and interesting presentations of the standards that you would find in Nashville some things that you might be able to make for yourself, like your own cowboy hat, and get pulled on a tractor while you have a couple cocktails. I'm taking off now from Orlando, my home city, on my way to Nashville, Tennessee for a long weekend. I want you to come with me. Let's do it. On my way over to the on and off trolley, I kind of got derailed here at the farmer's market. So there's two portions of this farmer's market. There's the outdoor market with all the fresh local produce. And then I'm inside with all of the food stands. I plan on having these for lunch, but I might have to take a detour because it is lunchtime. I got a little bit of a late start. Whenever you're visiting a city, check out the downtown for the um, farmer's markets or like in my Tampa video, um, the trailer, the container, restaurants, find some cool options. I started this four day trip to Nashville off at the farmer's market. It was my pickup for the Yano Off Trolley. Food vendors, craft vendors on the weekends, I bought a few gift items. A handmade guitar shaped magnet, a dress for my granddaughter, a keychain, and I had some ice cream from Jenny's, which is fabulous. But this was stop seven on the on off trolley tour, which here you go. This was my mode of transportation for two days. I was able to see the entire city, the highlights, and learn about them which was very interesting. And then, so I used it the first day to kind of get around. I stopped on and off a couple times, but then the second day I actually went and stopped and shopped and did more, spent more time at each stop. Um, I was able to see this sculpture, which is really cool. It's kind of beautiful, it's naked people, but um, is very interesting. I would have never been able to see that. Um, and also, they took you through Music Row, which is really not worth going out there. Yes, it's really interesting to see the homes that are actually recording studios, but really not worth the trip out there. We did make a stop, and I spent some time in the Gulch. Here they have a lot of great shopping, but you can design your own cowboy hat, you can create your own scented candles. And if you have the time and money, you can design your own cowboy boots. But I will have a, another video all about oh, the unique I shopping coming I just finished up. with the tour of the Country Music Hall of Fame. It was fabulous. I really enjoyed it. Got to see all different exhibits of the different artists and traveled really through the time of country music. But uh, my favorite was there, Chris Stapleton. His music is amazing. It's country, rock, blues, and I like that kind of cowboy biker look he's got going on. But anyway, here's a tip though, if you're going to come here, it's Sunday. I arrived here at 11 and I had no problem getting a ticket. Um, and we got into the exhibit right away. But now it's one o'clock and there is a line for tickets and there is also a line waiting to get into the exhibit. So the moral of that story is Country Music Hall of Fame, 
come early, but don't miss it. In addition to the Country Music Hall of Fame, Johnny Cash has a museum there. Patsy Cline is on the second floor. Um, I spend about an hour and a half in there. You don't want to miss the Bluebird Cafe. That's where all the songwriters go to perform. Taylor Swift was discovered there. It was featured on that. TV show Nashville. Small, intimate setting. You must get your tickets in advance. They do have some last minute seats, but um, I would highly suggest you try to get them in advance. I will have a link in the description below how to get tickets for the Bluebird Cafe. Another stop on the on off trolley was Marathon Motor Works. A lot of history about how they made cars there. Uh, the American Pickers have a store there but I found some unique shopping this jewelry store I actually bought a pair of earrings here and that also will be in another video but they do have a whiskey tasting it's a little thimble full it isn't anything that you're going to get wasted on but the creme brulee was my favorite outside of town you want to go out to Opryland the Gaylord Opryland Hotel you could spend half a day here they have restaurants, but there's a boat ride. There's a water park for kids, but it's, the gardens in there are beautiful. And then also you don't want to miss a tour of the Grand Old Opry. Now they won't allow photography. So I did take some photos and um, it was really very interesting to, isn't he adorable? <laughs> <laughs> That's Keith Urban. Um, got to see the dressing room. So it was really neat to see where all the stars come in. I really enjoyed that tour. You don't want to miss it. They also have a shopping mall that you can check out too. You want to see all the murals located throughout the city. This is Broadway during the day. And then Broadway at night. It's kind of like Vegas. It looks better at night. It's not so crowded with people. But also, um, you can take some a tour, a water boat ride. I think they have some that have food, like a dinner cruise type of thing. There's the pedestrian bridge, which I didn't get to. Um, of course, the plethora of party buses. And the honky tonks. This is Kid Rock. This was the first floor. All the music out there was outstanding. I was just amazed at the level of talent. And I was very, very happy. Make sure you tip your band. But these two, they just happened to be there. And they hopped up on stage. They were singing Sweet Child of Mine. They were amazing. I can't play it because the song's copyrighted. But trust me when I tell you, they will be playing at the Ryman Auditorium one day soon. Speaking of the Ryman, I actually got to see Pat Benatar. She's one of the concerts I missed growing up. And let me tell you, that woman can build the tune out. You never know who you're going to meet on Broadway, even a cardboard cutout. If you enjoyed this content, stay tuned for this next episode all about Nashville and please hit that like and subscribe button I'm trying to grow this travel channel I plan on visiting different cities and showing you the best ways to get around eat what to do see taste smell 